In one of my last track there is snow plowing videos, right at the end of the video you can see that I lost my skid shoes as I was pushing back with the back blade. And I realized that uh, the skid shoes that I had made were all worn out. So what happens over time is because this is plastic, those uh, last ones I had for about two, two seasons and the plastic just gets worn really thin and they don't uh, clamp as tight as they used to. Then they uh, slide off the blade a lot easier. So anyways, I got another couple of scrap tubes here. I cut them to length. And I was going to show you how I, how I make this uh, rip cut here. I completely forgot about it. I made the cuts already and I realized I was going to make a video. But anyways, these are the tools I use. You got to get yourself a jigsaw. What's nice is if you have one that has this feature that makes the blade go back and forth a little bit. It prevents the blade from clogging up. And uh, what works best is is uh, this metal cutting blade right here. You do not want to use one of these. These uh, wood cutting blades are too aggressive and they make the whole pipe bounce around. But just get yourself a metal cutting blade and uh, it cuts real nice. So what you do is you get your, your cut started then I just uh, take one of these. You can use any kind of wedge really but I just have these lying around. And you just jam that in the back. It keeps your cut open so it doesn't uh, bind up your blade at all. And you just uh, progressively keep doing that as you're making the cut. And you take your time. You can get a nice straight cut like this. This is a very cheap and easy alternative to skid shoes for your back blade. Alright, thought I'd just give you a quick little overview.